we were the 28th Crystal Ray School in the nation. What's unique about us is two things. Uh, number one is that all of our kids have to be low income. So the average family income for our students is less than $30,000 for a family of 4.2. The second thing that's unique is part of the way we finance it is the students go to work and they work five full days a month in a corporate setting and the companies pay us a fee and that fee is designed to offset 60% of the cost of education. If the average income is less than $30,000, family of 4.2, most of them, if you do the calculation, we should be paying them to go to school. The parents just don't have the ability to do so. In our first year, we had 154 freshmen, and we had 41 companies that signed up to be our corporate sponsors. Um, and they were the who's who of Atlanta. Uh, Coca-Cola, UPS, Delta, Invesco, uh, SunTrust, and others. What really got us interested in bringing the kids on board is that in talking to um, the different members of the uh, corporate work-study program, we understood not only that they do a great job of preparing the students to work in a business environment, professional environment, um, and they get a great deal out of the exposure to the business environment, professionals and people they may not experience on a regular daily basis, but on top of it, the uh, company itself gets a great benefit as the people can invest in these children and get some benefit themselves in seeing that they're helping and making a difference in these children's lives. We also had a lot of small companies, companies that you may never have heard about like iVision and Marl Colson, but those companies also were providing a job for our students. I worked at Emory St. Joseph Hospital so I got a chance to be somewhere that I want to be when I grow up. I want to be an OBGYN. I really worked all over the hospital, and I got a chance to see a surgery. It's given us opportunity to, to be like able to understand the work study when going, like getting ready to finish college, and you already know how to to be in the workspace. Draft day is when all of the companies come together. Well, they come to the school and they draft us. I work at, I used to work at on a Southern Company, and I would have to take the train just to get to work, which it was an experience, but I really liked it. And technically it was kind of related to the academics because I would have to use math for some, um, for some of the um, work. Also, I would have to use reading for like, um, read out um, some papers or read through PowerPoints or Excel sheets or I would probably use um, probably Latin because it's, ha it's helping me with my language. When they're here in the, in the school, they're one of 130, 40, uh, 15, 14, 15 year old kids. But in the workplace, they're the only teenager in that building. And so they have to elevate their game. They have to become more mature, mature more focused on what they're doing. I was the youngest one in, in the corporate office and it was a bit challenging as well because there was, um, I had an opportunity to be in a meeting, which uh, I, it was a really good experience. Meeting Prepare for Life here is really helpful. I'm able to have an experience about work, so in the future if I have a job, I'll be prepared. Also, I'm having um, classes that will help me in college. And also I'm having talks with like people from work and they're telling me about college and like what to apply and everything. So it's really helpful. Mr. Ray is a college prep program uh, with a unique feature, the unique feature being the work study, which is also part of the college prep experience. But in terms of the academic side, our freshmen come in and they take two classes of English and two classes of math, as well as biology, uh, Latin and religion. So they take so seven total classes every day. The reason we give them two English and two math is frankly a lot of our students don't come academically prepared for the to, to be ready to go to a college college prep high school. And so by giving them the double dosage of math and English, we give them a chance to succeed. Last year, 1,435 students graduated from Crystal Ray schools across the nation, and every one of them was accepted into college. Our demographic profile normally goes to college at a rate of a little over 10%, so we're beating that average by quite a bit.
I have an option of Duke, Columbia, Georgetown. If I stay in Georgia, I want to go to Georgia State. Uh, I have three in mind. UGA, Georgia Southern, and Kennesaw State. So we're, we're literally in the heart of Midtown. And, and we're right across the street from the North Avenue Marta Station. So we attract students from as many as 40 miles away, north, south, east, and west. I would wake up at 5 in the morning, get ready, have to be at my bus stop at 6 o'clock. And we have to pay $5 for the transportation in Texas and out from Sugarloaf Mills to North Avenue Station. So it's not uncommon for our students to travel an hour, even two hours each way to get to school. But that's a commitment that students are making in order to get a quality education and to be prepared for college and for life. It's worth it to make the long drive to get here. I have a lot of support from all the teachers. We'll get tutoring for any class at any time. We, we've been very fortunate in where we're located. We're literally right across the street from Georgia Tech. And the Tech students have been fantastic. That about 40 of them come once a week to tutor our students. The students know when they come in that door, they're going to be safe, they're going to be cared for, they're going to be nurtured, and they're going to be loved. The school I came from was, it was out of control. I feel a lot more safer here than I did at my old school. When we tell parents that their student has has now gotten in off of the wait list, which we had had to do, which we did, had the opportunity to do yesterday. The mother cried. The mother cried because she knew the difference that a Crystal Ray environment would make for her son. I think that, that Crystal Ray is a better school for me because it it's not that much diversity, I guess, at Mays. And I mean, I would get all A's at Mays if I went there, but. They're not pushing us to do anything. They're just probably just giving us the work, get finished with it, and just, we just go out in the world and don't know where we're going. Uh, shout out to Ms. Pecco, because um, she's my favorite teacher and she would, she, would like to, um, she would like for me to be very focused. And like, she was very supportive for me, like from the beginning, because at first I would, just, uh, I would be a fool, but then I would change my act later. There's no question we're making a difference in the lives of our students. The, when you, if you come here with the freshmen when they first get here, and maybe not the first week, they're intimidated the first week, but by the second week they're starting to feel more comfortable. You come in and you, and you interact with the freshmen the second week, and then you interact with them six months later. Incredible difference, incredible maturity. It's a very rewarding experience for those of us on staff. There's just an outpouring of support for the Crystal Ray model. And so we're thrilled to, to be here in the heart of Atlanta.